Hello guys, uh, welcome to Tech Design. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and hit a like button as well as share my videos and join my community. So, uh, in the last uh, video, I have uh, done this model until this. So, in order to complete this, let us start uh, continuing this. So, uh, we have done almost all the features that are available on the top side. So, inside we have some features. So, let us start creating them. So, in order to do that, go to Sketcher Environment and let us again this select the base sketch and now again go to Project and here is our project and this outer circle I'm just selecting here and here as well. Now, I want to project this as well. So, go to here and oops. You don't need to select this arc because this since it is a edge blend we can make it sharp and then we can uh, give an edge blend over there so click ok and now let us hide this sketch of feature sketch and then also hide this body so it will be clear for us and now let us go to the circle and start creating an arc circle with the three points and this is one point and this is second point and this is third point in the similar way these are the two points and this is my third point so what i will do is i'll just uh, delete the spline over here so select this spline and delete it and here as well select the spline spline and just delete this okay as you can see here there is a one portion here uh, so what we can do is we can just uh, select this line until here and this line until here why i am creating a line is because this is a spline so let us delete this spline and this spline okay now make corner so make a use of this Mm, let us create a line here to make a complete profile so press E for extension so extend these two and let us trim with the T command and click close so now we are having uh, these curves so uh, you can just create this body and then you can uh, mirror it on the other side or else you can just mirror the sketch itself so anything is fine just what i will do is i'll just mirror this curve from this center line click ok finish the sketch now we have a feature group over here now uh, start uh, you know uh, doing the extrude so let me hide this sketch this sketch so go to extrude and to make a use of connected curves and select these connected curves and these connected curves so let us extrude them uh, until this point so i think this is enough click ok now make a use of this now so go to extrude again and select these two curves now in the reverse direction and my start value will be let us reduce this so I'm not able to see this so my start point is from this face so from this point to this face is the is it point zero five mm okay i think somewhere i got into wrong okay let us go to measure now again and this is my axis from this point to this point it is 62 mm so this is my start point and my end point will be 68 just make sure that it is going inside that is more than enough for us so since it is going inside so i will just click ok ok now uh, 
we have all the bodies uh, you can see here we are we are having all the bodies we need to just uh, you know unite them and now start uh, removing the material from this body so let us go to unite before that i'll just hide this feature curve and select any one body and select everything now all the bodies so click ok now as you can see here this has become complete single body so now let us switch on this as you can see here there are many holes or here or here and here as well so in order to make it easy what i will do is i will just uh, create all the uh, holes which are coming in a single plane in a single sketch itself so that we can remove it in a one shot so go to sketch and select this sketch again uh, plane again and let us hide this unite okay go to project and project this curve this curve and this curve okay any other curves left okay in this plane uh, these are the planes so what i will do is uh, hide this curve and create a make a circle on the projected curves now let me delete the lines okay okay finish the sketch and show this body now go to sketch and uh, boolean operation should be okay let me select the sketch first and this should be subtracted and here let us give 0 to some value and click on opposite direction and make sure that it is coming out of the body and click ok now as you can see here all these three holes are done ok now we are left with uh, some of the holes over here and some holes over here so what I will do is I will just uh, hide this as you can see here this body is on this uh, curved surface so what we have to do is before uniting these two we have to give this uh, uh, edge blend and then we can unite these two so that uh, the perfect shape will come so before doing this unite what I will do is I uh, will just uh, make this as a current feature and this should be shown so let me you know uh, just measure this uh, distance uh, sorry uh, radius so this radius is 12 mm so go to edge blend and make it as a 12 mm and click ok so now we are uh, done with this now we can make this until uh, up update until the end so as you can see here now we can make these holes so what I will do is I'll just go to sketcher environment and let us create all the holes that comes under this uh, plane click OK so project this and here is one curve and here is one curve here is one more curve and this is a mockup click ok and let us hide these bodies so that it will be clear for us to make circle ok this is one point and this is the second point and this is the third point and this is the one point second point and third point in the same way make this point this point and this is well 
so if you are unable to get a center point of uh, any curve so you can make a use of this three point uh, circle method which will be very useful so now let us uh, delete all the extra splines and args okay now we are having all the circles so let us finish this and switch on this body and go to extrude and select this sketch make symmetric value now subtract this and click ok now as you can see here uh, this body is almost uh, done we are left with only some of the edge blends and there is an arc here we need to remove from material so let us make use of that let us make uh, you know um, all the edge blends so what i will do is i'll just hide this now measure this edge blend and this edge blend so go to analysis and uh, local radius click on this this is 2 mm and this is 4 mm so show this and clue this as 2 mm and this as 4 mm okay okay we are left with this one more hole let us uh, make that hole now and we have to give some uh, edge blend over here and here as well i think these two edge blends are same so let us hide our body and check what is the radius we have here this is 4 mm and also this is also 4 mm and this is i think it is a chamfer so switch it on and let us give edge blend as 4 mm for this and this and click ok now we have this uh, chamfer here so let us go to chamfer and give 4 mm as a chamfer let us see ok 3 mm yeah 3 mm is the chamfer so let us give 3 mm as a chamfer so now uh, everything is done only thing is we have one hole here and one more feature which we have to remove from here so as you can see here so what i will do is for that let me go to this sketch and uh, make a hole on this plane now project this click ok this is first point and second point third point now delete the spline and finish the sketch and here is the extrude make it as a symmetric value and I think this is much is not required ok subtract this from this body click ok ok now uh, we have one more feature over here as you can see here uh, this arc so go to sketch on this plane and click ok now what i will do is i will just go to an arc select this point and uh, this point okay this arc is something different so what i'll do is i'll just make a uh, no project so this is projected curve and let us create an arc from that point from that arc so okay this point and we have this point this is the third point so this is the first point 
and this is the second point and here is the okay sorry this is the first point um, second point and third point now let us delete the spline from this and now from this as well okay click finish now let's uh, just hide our body and check what is the distance so go to analysis and measure and along this face from this face to this face it is 4 mm so what i will do is i'll just uh, make 4 mm material removal here so go to connected curves and stop at intersection and select the arc which we have created and make a use of this sketch as well now in the opposite direction it is 4 mm and the body should be this okay Ooh, 4 mm is so much length some list let us make one more time from this to this point to this point it is 4 mm and extrude okay opposite direction and this is 4 mm okay and from this okay click ok now show this so as you can see here this side it is deleted and on this side as well we have to delete it so let us go to extrude again and select this curve which we have created and this okay should be in the opposite direction and this body should be deleted okay now let us hide everything and show the bodies as you can see here now this is completely done as per the required input okay uh, as you can see here our hole is just passed through this so we have to take care of this now it should not be you know from this point so let us make this until here and again just uh, remove the same thing Okay, in the opposite direction it should be removed from this body okay so now it's perfect so this is how we can make a you know three must no, remastering model so now let us hide uh, all the sketches and everything and switch on the solid bodies as you can see here this is our uh, body which is remastered and completely parametric thank you guys please subscribe to my channel and hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you